So, hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free GCSE and A level maths videos. This one is about y, uh, sorry, advanced y equals mx plus c. Basically means uh, equations of straight line graphs. So the advanced stuff basically means you have to know these things like uh, if you have two parallel lines that means the gradients are the same because they're sloping the same way okay exactly the same way so if you know something about straight line graphs you'll know that the gradient is the number in front of the x and when the equation is written in the form of y equals mx plus c gradient and then x and then the number at the end is the c which is the y-intercept okay so if you have parallel lines that means the gradients are the same that's the first learning point the second thing you need to know is if you've got two perpendicular lines i.e. the lines are 90 degrees to each other well the gradients are going to be opposite to each other not exactly the same but the opposite now what do I mean by the opposite well one way of describing it is they are the negative reciprocal that means if you've got one line that's positive, the perpendicular line is going to be negative to it, okay, and it's the reciprocal of it. So if you've got 2 over 3 is the gradient of one line, the gradient of the other perpendicular line is 3 over 2, just flipped upside down, the reciprocal, okay. So it works both ways. If you find the negative of a negative, you go back to a positive, okay, and reciprocate that, that means two over th 3 over 2 becomes 2 over 3 again. Okay, so the uh, perpendicular lines are negative reciprocal, have negative reciprocal gradients of each other. Okay, negative and reciprocal means flip upside down. Okay, some more interesting stuff. Uh, if you've got two points, two coordinates uh, of a line, can you find the equation of the entire line? So I want the equation of this entire line where it's got 2, 5, I've written 2, 5 there, and 3, 7 there, two points on this line. Well, the first thing you can do is work out the gradient of the line, the steepness of the line, and we measure that by the up distance divided by the across distance between any two points. So you pick any two points, and you see how far across you have to go, see how far up you have to go, and do this distance divided by that distance, which is very easy to work out because uh, if you got if this coordinate is two five and this coordinate is three seven okay well you have to go one unit across because this is this these are uh, this number two is the x value so that's how far across we are uh, on the x-axis and this three represents how far we are across on the x-axis as well so from two to three we're just moving one across and in a similar way we can see how far up we're moving we're five units high over here because of the y value and seven units high over here because of the y value of this coordinate okay so we've moved from five to seven going upwards which is basically two units okay so we've got two units up for one unit across 2 over 1 which equals 2 ok so the gradient of this line is 2 obviously as I say this is a sketch which means it's very inaccurate ok just a point to note uh, but you can do this all without a picture and really you should get in the habit of doing it without a picture all you do is do find the difference in the y values divide it by the difference in the x values because that's what we did really in, in basically yeah so uh, 7 take away 5 divided by 3 take away 2 which is 7 take away 5 is 2 3 take away 2 is 1 2 divided by 1 is 2 very simple make sure that when, when you do the taking away you don't basically you think this I'm going to do this coordinate take away this coordinate so 7 take away 5 and 3 take away 2 but don't mix it up don't say 7 take away 5 and then do 2 take away 3 you know it's either this coordinate take away this coordinate or this coordinate take away this coordinate not a mix of the, of the two yeah otherwise you'll be really messed up okay um, so once you've gone through the first stage and you worked out the gradient you can say y equals 2x plus c 
uh, because you know the gradient is 2 and when you have an equation of a straight line y equals mx plus c you know the m bit is the gradient so you know that much but you have to find out the c bit it's a letter you have to work out okay it's, it's a number obviously that you have the letter represents of course so you know you know two points on the line okay and you know that let's say if you were to substitute uh, x equals 2 over there and y equals 5 over there like we've done here okay they should be equal to each other and the reason is the whole point of an equation of a straight line it relates the y part of the coordinate to the x part of the coordinate okay that's why it says equals the to get the y part of the coordinate if you go to the basic uh, equations of straight lines video okay you will know that you can work out the y part of the coordinate from the x part of the coordinate by following this rule so it follows if you kind of try to reverse engineer this uh, little equation you you put the y and the x in and you know that they should equal each other because you should be able to get the y value from working this stuff out so if you try to work this stuff out you get y equals 4 plus c so c must be 1 for uh, this to be equal to each other okay and they have to be equal to each other because we already know this point is on this line yeah so every coordinate on the line should follow the rule in this equation so it should work okay so 4 equals 5 equals 4 plus c therefore c is 1 that means the complete equation is y equals 2x plus 1 okay now some people will say oh I've been given the gradient already and I know one point only well that's good enough as well because uh, half of the working out we did was the gradient so that makes it even easier okay I did a harder question so if you are already told the gradient is 2 for example you can go straight to this line and then you can substitute whichever point you've been given say you were just told the gradient is 2 and you were told that 2 5 is on the line you'd go straight to this line and substitute 2 5 like we did and work out C and you're done very simple